Ohayou gozaimasu. Uh, I'd like to welcome everybody here today to our fifth uh, Line Intertrust Conference. Uh, these conferences started very serendipitously two years ago, two and a half years ago, and have been wonderful educational events with our uh, partner Line, and we look forward to many more uh, in the future. I'd like to give a very, very short introduction uh, in English uh, that complements Nakayama-san's uh, wonderful presentation. Uh, by starting with a cartoon from the famous American uh, magazine, The New Yorker. This appeared in The New Yorker in the late 1990s, right at the beginning of the proliferation of people being online. As you can see, it's two dogs on a PC. Tell, one guy's telling the other guy, on the internet, no one knows you're a dog. That has to do with a complete lack of reliable authentication and identification infrastructure um, on the internet. This cartoon came out last year, and it's the, I think, 20th anniversary of the original cartoon, and it says, remember when on the internet, nobody knew you were a dog. Um, and obviously, this is what we want to be uh, in a fully authenticated world. These two cartoons can also be used to make a very different statement on privacy, but that's for another pre presentation. The web today is crawling with fake everything, spam, phishing, malware, fake news, deep fakes. Today you're gonna to see a lot of deep fake demonstrations, I'm sure. Um, it's made worse and will become much worse um, with untrusted and unsecured IoT devices which are going to be proliferating in the trillions across the planet over the next few years. And distributed cloud-based data that can't be trusted given the current infrastructure. We live in an age where the integrity of the entire web is now questionable. This is a pretty grave situation, but at the same time a source of very rich uh, research problems. We're living on an internet today that's still the same internet that was built 30, 40 years ago, which relies on an inside-outside security paradigm. There's this concept of a perimeter that assumes that everyone on the inside is trusted. But that's really not the case. We all know that. In the old days, obviously, people who touched the internet were authenticated physically. But today, the internet and the web are pervasive and ubiquitous, and everybody on the, on the planet with a, with a mobile phone can reach them. And the internet is more borderless than ever, more connected people, devices, and data sets than ever imagined. And authenticating things and data sets has become a real issue but it's also, and this is really cool to the technical people in the room, one of the hottest technical problems in distributed computing today. We, together as scientists and engineers, have to retrofit the internet to become trusted at the event level, at the individual level, at the device level, and at the data set level. This is a fantastically rich research and engineering problem. We all know that passwords are not enough. Passwords are no longer a viable authentication mechanism. Multi-factor approaches that are rolling out help, but they're not sufficient. Um, you know, three types of authentication, something you know, something you have, something you are, are okay. Of course, when you start adding biometrics and AI, these become much more powerful. An example of that is what happens in the Apple ecosystem with the Apple Watch, the fingerprint detectors and passwords. But generally, these techniques are just techniques that are applied to the PC web model not really the IoT big data model um, of the internet. Authentication identity problems are a moving target. There's a vast online population on the planet. That means that there's a combinatorial explosion uh, for PKI systems. We need better uh, scalable authentication techniques. Services with very mismatched authentication requirements that are typically run by proprietary service providers um, so you can have trust mismatches between different ecosystems where competitors don't talk to each other to harmonize. Um, you have differences in context. The person who's authenticated and trusted on one device in one context could be a criminal in the next device, the next hour in a different context. This makes this whole thing a very complicated, multidimensional problem to solve. And obviously, these dependencies on proprietary platforms that I mentioned do create a weakest link problem as people flow from one ecosystem to the other, often at the same time. Solutions are on the horizon. 
Open standards like FIDO are essential. Standards bridge between competitors. They create open, verifiable technologies that everybody can share and they eliminate competitive differences that can be exploited by hackers. International agreements on formats and protocols are also necessary. You cannot build a wall around the internet. People are trying, people are failing. We have to accept the openness of the internet at many levels and make sure that there's co contextual authentication and identity management across the entire planet. Certification protocols in this context are also super critical. Blockchain techniques, distributed ledger technologies, despite the hype, can also help distributed authentication at scale. As we move from a world of millions to billions to trillions of devices on the internet, the current 20th century authentication technologies will fail. This is a very active area of research at my company, but also at many other companies and universities around the planet. AI also can help a lot, not only in inferential authentication on the way in, but also in terms of tracking and monitoring networks for malicious attacks. And finally, this conference today is a sign of this, but it's very important that we continue to work together across companies, across international organizations, in startups, at universities, to bring together a globally distributed, scalable authentication framework for the internet for the 21st century. Thank you very much.